Crab people, crab people, taste like crab, talk like people. Is it chili? Uh, and let's take a look at the homework for tutorial, I'm gonna say 15. That's the tutorial on Git. So I gave you a little challenge, and a little uh, a little riddle here. I just showed you this and I said, get this. Do like chili do. And that's it, that's all I told you. So how do you, how you gonna do this? Well, I mean, first off, obviously you can't get a thing if you don't know its name. Uh, I didn't tell you its name, but I mean, maybe if we just look on the screen somewhere, we might be able to get a bit of a hint on what we're dealing with. I don't know, just an idea. So yeah, box 2D perhaps. And I mean, even if you somehow, you know, you overlook that, a little bit of a brain fart, you could always just search, you know, like 2D physics C++. And if you search that, what comes up? Box 2D. So it's, you know, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty straightforward. But I mean, you know, you might not have gotten that. It just might have been uh, something you overlooked, no biggie. But what I will say is how you respond to that is kind of uh, is kind of telling. It's important. So if you're seeing this and you didn't you didn't figure out that it was box duty and you're reading this and this is bullshit, that fucking bullshit, the chili, you're a fucking asshole, then you have the entirely wrong mindset. You know what? You know sometimes people they overlook things, they have a bit of a brain fart. Uh, I I miss things that you know are obvious to other people all the time, but how you respond to that situation that's what really that's really telling so if you're like oh shit dumbass i should have seen that then you know you got an open mind you're willing to learn you're going to learn something from your experiences but if you're like this fucking bullshit it's not my fault it's, it's, it's stupid then you're not learning shit so that's just uh this is me on my soapbox there but anyways uh so either way hopefully you uh, figure out that it's box duty next thing is I mean, it was a tutorial on Git, so what are you expecting? Probably you're going to have to get this with Git. So what you're going to do is you're going to go box2d github. And if you do that, this is what comes up first. And that's the, yeah, that's the github for box2d. There are other, you know, github uh, links for box2d. So, I mean, here's one at pybox. That's Python. It's not going to be good for us. We're doing C++ here. And like here, we've got open source C++. And you might say, well, maybe it's this one. I don't know. But if you look at this, the numbers here are much lower than the numbers here. So you probably would assume that this one is the main, the, uh, the, canonic, the canonical repo, as it were. So this is it. We've found it. We've, we did it. Read it. Now, what you got to do, obviously, if you follow the, 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 the tutorial, you watch what I did, you're going to say, well, I'm going to need to clone that motherfucker. So you, you grab this, uh, this URL here, and then you open up Visual Studio. You're going to slide into the old Team Explorer, hit that uh, plug-in button, and go clone. So you're going to jam in your URL, and you're going to change your, uh, your path, maybe, and then you're going to clone that motherfucker. And you're gonna wait for a little bit. It's got it's, it's a bit of a download here, but it's not a big deal. All right, now after you clone the repository, you get back to this window. Maybe you click here, whatever. You do what you gotta do. You get back to this window and you connect to that repository you just cloned. So you go. For me, it was uh, what was it? it? Was Crab People, right? So Crab People. Double click on that. Now we've got that repo open. Open the solution from here. Uh, you could. Theoretically, also open it by going to the folder where you downloaded it and finding the solution file in there. But it's not going to be easy. Uh, it's buried in there somewhere, unlike in the uh, Chili Engine where it's in the root folder, the root of the folder. So, you open up the solution. Here you go. Now, this is going to be a little different for you if you're used to the Chili Framework, because in the Chili Framework, you got a solution and you've got one project. Here, you've got six projects in the solution. So, I mean, you can go build, build solution, and it will build all of these projects. It shouldn't take too long, but here's the thing. You try to run that shit. Unable to start program, blah, 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 box2d.lib. So, not a valid Win32 application. That's the problem. So what are you, you going to do now? Well, it says that 
box2d.lib is not valid. Now, here's the thing about solutions and projects. So if you've got multiple projects in a solution, uh, you're going to have one of those projects as the default, and that's what's going to try to run when you click this button here. But the main project in this solution isn't for building a program, it's for building a library that you use to build other programs, so you can't actually execute it. Uh, so you can't execute this, nor this, nor this. These are for OpenGL stuff, uh, more libraries. This one you can't execute, but it opens up a uh, console window. This one is another kind of, I'm not sure, I think it's another library, actually. And this one is the one you can actually run. So now the trick is, how do you run one of these guys? And the answer to that is, right click. Right click, sh right click shit is always a good, uh, it's always a good try when you're trying to figure out how to execute a command on a uh, particular thing, right? So, right click on this guy, debug, start new instance, and there you go. You got it. And you can select any kind of these tests that you want. I don't know, I don't know how they run. Uh, pinball. This one looks good. Sweet. And it, it works, sort of. That one didn't work very well, but anyways. You get the fucking idea, right? So that's it, pretty much. Um, I mean, I, I think you could probably... Most of you probably made it up to this point. Running it might have been a little tricky. But again, um, running some Google Foo might help you out on this one. Or maybe you asked someone on the forum or on the uh, Discord... Either way, if you made it, if you got this running, congratulations. If you didn't, eh, it's okay. I just wanted a little, uh, a little challenge for you guys. Nothing, you know, straightforward. Just paint by the numbers. A little something that required a little bit of maybe ingenuity or uh, problem-solving skills. So this is Box 2D, by the way. So I mean, you, you might have heard of it. And if you want to play around with it, my suggestion is you start. You can start by maybe trying to edit one of these files here, these H files, these are the different tests that show up in that menu. Uh, so you can edit these guys, try to figure out how it works. You can find the documentation for Box2D online, PDF, um, and it explains things. You have to understand how pointers work. Yes, B2 body pointer. So Box2D runs on pointers to uh, handle the different entities in the simulation. So uh, understanding how pointers work, the basics of pointers is a big uh, a big help here. And I haven't covered pointers yet at this point. So uh, maybe it's a little too early for you to get into box duty. But I'm thinking somewhere down the road of doing a uh, one episode after we've learned pointers and all the other stuff that will help maybe doing an episode on box 2d uh, so that's something to think about for the future but yeah if, if you know something about pointers and stuff you might want to uh, play around with this stuff and if you're going to play around with it i suggest editing some of these tests figuring out how they work maybe creating your own test but anyways that was the uh that was the git homework and you know get ready to see more of that stuff in the coming tutorials because that's how i'm going to distribute shit from now on but uh until next time i'm chili if you like the video uh, click the like button it helps a lot and i'll see you soon with some more c plus plus